Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG4 Re, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest, or should I call it Sons of D Forest. The deforestation has begun. Uh, I'm going to have him clear out this area right here. Kelvin's going to be clearing out this area right here for what is going to be, I'm sure, a spectacular base. Um, I actually took a bunch of the logs out of the log holders, and I put them up here and just kind of planted them. And, I mean, I could keep doing that. As a matter of fact, I'll do it a little bit more. Why not? Because the thing is, if you can clear out the log holders, he'll continue getting logs. If he fills them up, uh, you know, they're going to get filled up and then he won't do anything anymore. And you might be thinking, oh, Cage, what do you need him to keep getting logs so much for? You're going to be there building, aren't you? Well, yeah, but I think before we start building, we're going to go out to the first 3D printer. Um, I found a 3D printer that's close to me and we're going to go out and we're going to we're going to do some 3D printing out there. Do some exploration. See what's what. I might even head over to the beach. As a matter of fact, I definitely will head over to the beach. You know what? Let's go right now. I'm going to save the game before we go. I moved my tent up here because I needed it out of the way. I could take the golf cart, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like, I don't know, man. Taking the golf cart is probably worse because then you got to find the roads and you got to stay on the roads. And, you know, I just I don't like taking the golf cart. It's pretty cool to have, but I don't know. Maybe if I got to go like across the entire like island, I'll take the golf cart. But it's tough because you got like you can't just drive it through the woods, man. You're just gonna crash into trees all the time. What's up, buddy? And um, I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, maybe I can get the night V or the night five or whatever it is. That thing. That thing's a little bit better because you can kind of go in and out of the trees, especially if you get good, you know, with using it. If you're new to the game and you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, then uh, you know, you'll find out. Just um, stay tuned. Keep watching. Uh, we do have a few tents here, so let's take a look here. I think these are always, these are always flares in these things. Get the stupid rock out of here, man. All right. These rocks are annoying. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, there we go. All right. So this one's open. Oh, that's right. I hit this. I hit this on the way scouting the area. I forgot. Yeah. I looted that when I came over here to scout the 3D printer. I wanted to make sure it was here before I ran over here for no reason on video. I hate running somewhere and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go over here and get this item. And then it's not there. And I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> I just it's just don't like it. Uh, so what you're looking for down here is a golf cart. Yep, the golf cart's right there, right next to my house. Little house thing. I'm going to grab a golf cart battery. I don't know what, what I'm going to do with that, but we have it. And let's take out our lighter. And check out this cave. We're going to have to do some cave exploring. I, I think I'm going to do a little bit of light exploring today. Uh, maybe next episode we'll really hit the caves. I do have to hit the caves at some point. Uh, so here we are. Got a little compound down here. And right here is the 3D printer. So um, how do we change things? No, I don't want E. That's right. You change things on here. So you could, you could scroll things. You get a mask, grappling hooks. Tech mesh, sled, GPS case, arrows, and flask. We're going to go ahead and make a flask first. And then, I guess I looted in here as well. All right, fair enough. I didn't loot this stuff on the shelves, though. There we go. A bunch of batteries, duct tape, more uh, 3D printer uh, ink cartridges. I, this game makes me want to get a 3D printer, by the way. It did when I first started playing it. And then when I stopped playing the game, I just forgot about it. Oh, it's out of three. Oh, okay. I thought it comes with ink. Um, hold on. There you go. All right, cool. I thought it came with ink, but I guess not. Anyway, yeah, this game makes me want to get a 3D printer, so. Let's come on down here and see what's over here. I think I remember this room. It's a big white room with a, you come out of like um uh, like a hidden door type thing. Yeah, see? There's like a hidden door. And we'll grab that. And there's going to be a door down here you need a key card for. Yep. Okay. Cool. We don't have the key card yet. So, oh, somebody, a bunch of you guys said in the comment section that the forest owns their own music and YouTubers are allowed to use them. You should not get copyrights on music in the forest. That's true. That's true. And I, I, I've known that for, you know, since the game first came out. But here's the thing. Anytime you have music, like you'll get like bots that will claim your music, even though it's not their music. And if you fight it after a month, you might get it removed. But first of all, all the views are done. Most of the views are done in a month, usually. And second of all, like nothing ever happens to these guys. It's so annoying. 
So, you know, I've had, I have a thing called uh, Incomptech, which is like a, a, it's called royalty free music. And I've been using it like forever. And even at that point, I had a problem with something one time. And the guy, the guy uh, is pretty cool. The guy who runs the site cleared it up for me, but it's just, it's headaches I don't need. That's all. Uh, I don't think I really care too much about any of this. Thing. I should probably do some arrows. I don't know how many arrows I can hold though. Let's get as many arrows as I can, and then we're going to get out of here and head down to the beach. I don't quite know how many arrows I can hold. And on top of that, I don't have a bow. I know you can make a bow, but I don't know what happened to my rope. I thought I had two rope. I must have done something with the other rope, or maybe I never had two rope. Maybe I was just imagining it. Let's go ahead and open up these skin pouches. You get these from the enemies when you defeat them. Can you do? Uh, can you put a bunch of them up there? Uh, yes, you can. All right, so there you go. You get little... little doodads and stuff which is awesome i love the fact that enemies drop loot that is so cool like little things like that really make me happy all right we just saved here came out of the cave saved you can hold 20 arrows by the way maybe i can make a quiver or something later although i don't remember that being in this game i know that was in the original forest but i don't know about this game uh we're gonna actually swim out in shark infested waters and try and get ourselves a toy out there it should be pretty fun we'll have to see how it goes I'm also going to be looking for rope and everything. And um, and like I said, we're going to be doing building for the rest of the video. And then I'm like, I change my mind all the time. This might very well change uh, coming next video. But as of right now, I have every intention of making next video, just cave exploring and getting the things we're going to need. Um, I do know there's a cave. See, you know what's funny, guys? I'm thinking about a cave I could go into to get like a compass and a map and stuff. I'm getting it mixed up with the forest. So <laughs> honestly, I don't know where I got to go. But well, we're going to find somewhere and we're going to go there and it's going to be awesome. I don't have any food on me, oh, oh, unfortunately. Uh, actually, I might have some uh, energy bars. I didn't bring any fish with me or anything. Uh, the meat that is in my drying rack on the ground keeps getting removed with the uh, raccoons. But you know what? It doesn't happen that often. I mean, it happens, but it doesn't happen that often. So what I can do is I could just grab the fish and bring it up into the treehouse. The fish in the treehouse, I've got meat in the treehouse that has been fine. Uh, it has not gotten removed at all, so... What's with the fire? What's it smoke? I don't ever remember that before. Anyway, that little boat out there is where I got to go. I'd like to save the game before I go out there, but I don't think I have a, a tarp with me. I don't. Darn it. That means if I die, I'm going to have to, you know, go all the way back to or I'm going to have to re reload where I was before. If I die and I reload where I was before, I'll, I'll take down that camp and bring it over here. I like having the camp up. Because it's got a, uh, it's a marker on where that um, 3D printer is. Although I saw the 3D printer, I can make like, um, I, I forget what they're called, like GPS things. But I think that was just the thing that holds a GPS thing. Or maybe it was a GPS thing. I don't think 3D printers can can print 3D, 3DS. Okay. Um, GPS things. Okay, we got some music here. Probably okay, but I'm going to turn it off just to be safe. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. A bunch of stuff from there. Bunch of stuff from there. We got some MREs. If you hit that thing, it will explode. So don't do that. Unless you want to. Unless you're playing multiplayer and you want to mess with your friends. I've done it. It is pretty funny. Uh, right here we got ammo. And I think this guy's got a item on him. I thought this guy has like a, a part for one of the guns. But I don't know. Either I'm misremembering or they took it off him. Take some money. Open this up. Take some grenades. I think there's a cave around here too. I don't remember what's in it though. Oh, turtle. We need a turtle. Oh, here's another turtle. Ah! Sorry, turtle, but dogs gotta eat. Actually, dogs gotta drink. This is gonna be for rainwater, but um, I think you can only hold one shell or else I'd kill the other one too. Just save the game in case things go bad. And let's, uh, let's swim it out there. I know there's a shark out there. I've never gotten killed by the shark, but I... I think other people on the multiplayer server has. Maybe they got bit by it. I don't know. Uh, they could have changed the game, too. Like, just because I never got bit by the shark before doesn't mean I won't get bit by it now. So, we just got to kind of swim out here. And there's going to be a couple... I think there's a lore thing out here. There's going to be a toy that I could play with. And I think there's going to be some food and other little um, doodads and stuff like that. Right. Let's watch out for that shark. Please, shark, don't mess with me. I think there's multiple sharks out here, too. Freaking seagulls. Would seagulls eat human meat? 
There we go. Will, se will seagulls eat human meat? I mean, I don't know, maybe. Oh, he's got a toothbrush. Thank God. <laughs> That'll be your savior. Uh, he's not looking too good. All right, and there's a pistol. And I found Team B, one of three. Okay. All right, stop looking at that pistol. Pick everything else up. I hate the way he puts everything in his hands when he picks it up. <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, apparently I have more flares than I can... Hey, get off that guy! Man, what a bunch of jerks. All right, so... I don't see the shark. Usually you can see it swimming around. Oh, there he is. So I think if you go behind him, he won't turn around. I believe he goes around in a circle around the raft. So if you just jump at his back and, you know, you'll be way out of there by the time he gets around to that end of the raft. That's my theory. It has not failed me yet, but, you know, take caution. <laughs> just because it worked for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. All right. So we're not out of the woods yet, or the water yet. Let's just keep coming along here. And I think we're going to be okay. Um, although I won't. I won't stop recording until I get to the water. It would suck to stop recording and then have you get eaten off camera. All right, we're looking good now. And this guy's a slow swimmer. I don't know why he's swimming that way. He's supposed to go like arm over arm, right? Not this like freaking swims like a five-year-old. I don't know. I don't know a lot about swimming, so what do I know? But all right, cool. Came home, did some busy work, went to sleep. Now I'm going to get some food. I did get attacked. And I killed the guys. I would have recorded, but it was like super duper dark. You wouldn't be able to see it either way. Um, so I killed a few guys and I got a bunch of bones. I was looking for the bones just now, but I forgot. I put them in a bone holder. Um, you do need rope to make bone armor, which is kind of annoying. So <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out a good spot to farm rope. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get some food. Um, where's my food? There it is. Dried meat. Looking good. Dried meat lasts a long time, which I really like. Here we go. Oh, man, that barely gave me any hit points back. What the heck? Um, I also put some water in my printed flask. So I'm going to go ahead and drink that. I could probably drink it from the inventory, but that's okay. Take it out and drink it. Maybe I should just take some pills. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off and see if I get attacked again. We'll see. I prefer not to uh, use the pills if I could avoid it. Also, I did have some rope. That other rope I mentioned uh, was actually being stored right here. Damn it. Hold on. Hold that thought. I didn't know I could actually do that on that kind of fire. Hey, you. Really, really quickly. Start doing some, some logs, bro. Fill the holder. It's like, oh, you're always telling me to fill that holder. Okay, let's get back up here. Actually, I don't know why I'm coming up here. I didn't really need to. All right, whatever. Anyway, yeah, the, um, yeah, that, that's the thing that burnt me, by the way. Uh, this right here is where I was storing the rope. That's why I wanted to come up here. Okay, so let's take the rope and let's make ourselves a bow. Two sticks and some duct tape. There we go. Ah, oh, love it. Love it. Okay, so where do I want the bow to be? It's going to be number three. Okay, that works. And we'll put this as number four. That's mainly for chopping. So we've got this for melee. This also for melee, numbers one and two. Number three is the bow. And number four is the axe for chopping stuff down. Right, sounds good to me. Okay, I think we have a lot of I think we have a lot of stuff here. Let's get building. Uh, this stuff is not the building, it's just kind of put there for just the, you know, just for now. And I originally I was gonna make my building like like way up on stilts, you know, like way up off the ground. And that might not be a bad idea, but here's the thing. In season one, Kelvin kept getting stuck underneath the building, and it was really annoying. So I don't know if that's been fixed or not, and I'm not going to take the chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it down. Now, do I want it to be half or a quarter? A quarter might be too low. I think we're going to go with half and hope that he won't get stuck on the half part. Because I really don't want to make it a quarter. The quarter is just going to be, you know, like, we'll start having grass coming up through the freaking floor, and I can't stand that. <laughs> All right, so that's a half right there. Grab that and grab that. So I'm going to have the house come out like this, um, and it's going to come over here. And then I'm going to have a nice little area here, which is going to be a deck. There's going to be a deck over here, and then the entrance is going to be right here going this way. So I don't know how far it's going to come over this way. Let's just work on that deck for the time being. 
All right, so you want to place stuff down like this. You don't want to just throw it on the ground because if you like leave your game and come back, then that stuff's going to be gone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to start right there. And then we just need to go this way. Now, I think that'll work. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So what we could do is I'm going to have to reacquaint myself with the building as well. <laughs> so uh, we could put that like that. And then if we cut it right here, that should be perfect. Okay, good. And then we'll just put this right here. I don't want to connect it to anything. All right, that's looking good. Let's grab a few more of these. And I don't know if the deck is going to go out that way. I guess it might. I really wanted it kind of over the, over the water. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to build over the water. Now, I could always wait for the water to freeze and then do it like that. But I'm, I, I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. I'll make I'll make a a modest deck, and then if I decide when the water is frozen, if I want to get a little crazier with it, then I'll do that. All right, so we could put that right there, and then we could put this underneath it. It'll actually chop it to length. Yep. Okay. All right. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. Put that right there, and then we're gonna go a couple more logs over that way. You know what? Let's take from in here because I want him to keep. Chopping down trees. Now, I mentioned last episode that the trees will respawn or regrow, but only if you leave the stumps. That's why I'm leaving as many stumps as I can, because I want as many trees to grow back as I can. Um, I'm only going to uh, take down trees, uh, tree stumps when they're really in the way. Um, plus, I don't want my whole I don't want my whole place to have like no trees anywhere. Like, I want trees where I can have trees, and where they're in the way, I'll get rid of them. I think we're gonna go one more this way. And like that, and like that. Okay. And like I said, I think I'm going to leave the deck the way it is for now, but I'm eventually going to build the deck out into the water to go over the water. But that's not really of utmost concern right now. Actually, I might have to... No, no, I can make this the entranceway right here. Okay. So let's put one like this. That's going to be a half. So I could use one of the halves I already have. And right. Yep. And that could be the staircase going into the house. Or I could go over. I'm going to go over one more spot for the staircase to go into the house. This is going to be a dope build. I'm trying to do it very different from any of my other builds. You know, I have a certain way I like to build. And, and you know, and that's it is what it is. But um, I try and do stuff different when I can to make it more interesting. So you're not watching the same video all the time. But uh, it's hard for me to fight that, you know, that instinct to build the way I want it, like, normally build. All right, that's looking good. Now, why am I not building with stone? Um, because I heard stone was kind of annoying to build with. Uh, let me build... I'm going to build this this log cabin base, and then maybe I'll build some stuff with stone later. Because uh, I don't know how to build with stone. Like, at all. And when I was talking to people about building with stone, they said it, it wasn't very good. So, I don't want to have a bad experience right now. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build the stuff I know is going to work and be awesome. I ran out of half log, so we're going to have to go ahead and do this one. No big deal. Um, actually, maybe I'll just put this right there. There we go. That'll be for the next part. All right. So right here, he's doing, this guy's doing work, man. He's trying to fill that thing up. He's like, I'm going to fill it up. And I'm like, no, you're not. All right. So now we need to make some stairs. And I kind of like the stairs to come out a little bit. Um, I don't, I don't like the stairs going right up into a deck. I don't know why. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that right there. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to grab this, put this under this, and then we're going to have to make another half right here. That's okay. Put that right there. Let's go grab some more logs out of here. And now let's make the stairs. So this has got to go across like that. This comes up like this. And boom. Now, how do you make stairs from that point? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, I accidentally chopped up some plank, uh, chopped up some planks here or whatever, half logs or whatever. <clears throat> so I'm going to use those now because, um, you know, I didn't mean to chop them up. So there's two ways you can do this. You could either go like this or uh, like this. That would make a staircase. That will make a roof. So 
So there you go. There's the beginning of a staircase. Now they got the staircase done. We need to box these things out. Um, I don't know if you need to put logs in every single cross section, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I know it's going to take a lot of resources, but that's okay. Um, Kelvin is up to the task. Kelvin's like, oh, Cage, what are you doing to me? Just don't put stuff in the middle. I think you might actually have to. I, I don't remember. I remember times not having stuff in cross sections and other times I did. And, you know, oh, can I do this and then this? Oh, it only did one. Okay. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Because now we can just pick this up. Oh, maybe I can't. All right, all right. We'll get, we'll get there. Let's put this over here. Let's pick this up. Use that to lift that. Cool. And, all right, we need some more half things. Half thingy-mabobs. I'm still a little worried on how far this is up from the ground. I had to do it that way because as we build over here, I'm going to need the height, and that actually still might be too low. Um, but yeah, I, I had to do the half um, half logs, but I'm still worried that they can get underneath because I can get underneath. So I'm still a little worried about that, but I guess, you know, we'll just have to deal with it. Is there like a trick to keep them from going underneath there? Because I can't build anything on the sides. Like I can't, I'm not aware of anything I can build on the sides. So like I can't build anything in here to like block it. Um, I think I might be able to cut half logs and then put them upright, but that'll take forever. Um, might be something I can do, but yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. We'll have to see where that goes. But it looks like we're just about done with this part of the build. Uh, I am not, I'm probably not going to build a roof. I don't know. Maybe I'll build a roof. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll just build a straight old flat roof for the time being. Uh, the cool thing about this game, one of the many cool things about this game and its building, is you can take everything apart and reuse it. So if I want to build a temporary roof, I could build a temporary roof. And then when it's time to expand the base, just, you know, build a new one. This is a very basic part, no pun intended, of the base. This is going to be a um, a deck. The deck, I, like I said, when the water freezes over, you can still build on ice. The deck will be expanded this way. And the base will be over this way and come across here. I think it's going to be a um, pretty interesting build. We'll have to see where it goes, but yeah, I think it's going to be cool. And he, this guy's a workhorse, man. People said that, like, Kelvin gets tired all the time and... He sucks and he's not good anymore, but I don't know, man. Seems to be okay in my game. Maybe he knows if he doesn't, you know, do his job, there's going to be consequences. And he will not enjoy them. <laughs> All right. So I think this is going to be it for the framing of the floor. Let's get the crap out of me. Uh, I think this is going to be it for the framing of the floor. Yo, yes. And now we just got to put in the floor. Now you're going to put in the floor the same way you put in the uh, the, the stairs. You know what I was just thinking? I, if I build anything on here, it's going to come down because it's going to be a deck. I'll probably build something on it, though, just temporarily. Anyway, um, yeah, so you just kind of... I don't know why it's not showing me the option for the floor. It's kind of weird. Wait, why is it not showing me the option for the floor? It is there. Oh, cool. I did both of them at once. I love that. We got a problem here. We got a big problem. Some big enemies are coming in right now. Uh, see that red guy right there? Yeah. I don't like him. You coming up here? Can you come up here? I don't know. Okay. Um, so one thing I have to do is because we're fighting now. When I chop down trees, I turn off uh, damage. Because Kelvin will chop trees right into your base. But when I fight... I got to put the damage back on. It's not fair. All right. Oh, headshot. Damn, I just put one in his brain. All right, cool. That worked out well. My goodness. Oh, these guys. Put one in his eye. Whoops. There we go, buddy. That didn't hit him at all. Oh, goodness. This thing shoots way up. All right, hold on. Oh, right in his chest. Dead? I think he's dead. All right, cool. You need to get more arrows too, man. These are going to be our lifeblood. I forget how to repair. I think there's a repair hammer or something. The next part of the base is going to be the rest of the framing. So we need to put some framing here. This is taking a lot more logs 
than I thought were kind of running out of logs. I don't think I'm going to finish this thing today, but I will at least get the frame done. And then, you know, we'll continue working on it next up or maybe the next episode after. I'm not really sure. I really want to go exploring and get some cool stuff next episode. Uh, so I, I want to get to the point where I can get the zip line. The zip line makes everything better. <laughs> it really does. Also, there's like a there's like a better bow out there. Uh, what else? There's a shotgun. I don't remember exactly what I want to get, but I know I want to get other things. So he's supposed to be getting fish. I don't know why he's not. Uh, like you said, he only catches like three fish. I don't know why, but uh, you know what? We'll leave a little deck on the outside there. I usually like my decks to be too wide, so there we go. That'll be a deck. And then we'll just have like a little inside area here. We don't need a ton of space. Um, why aren't you doing anything? Get some fish, bro. So I'm freaking starving all the time because you're not getting any damn fish. Maybe I should try the fish trap. People said the fish traps are pretty good. Actually, you know what? I kind of remember that in our Let's Play. In our, like, my uh, multiplayer Let's Play with the cage crew. Now that I think about it, I don't think we ever had him fish. I think we had fish traps set up. I'll look into fish traps in between episodes. Let's get this uh, whole thing framed out. So Kelvin got stuck under the house. I don't even know how this is still a thing. How is he still getting stuck under the house? You got to fix that. Uh, maybe it's not fixable. That's the only thing I could think of is that maybe they can't fix it. Because otherwise, like, why would you not fix it, right? Um, he did get stuck under the house. Now, the good part is uh, once I went to bed, he he popped out. So it's, it's you know. The thing is, um, if I bring the entire house down to quarter logs, uh, the, the grass, like, actually gets out of the way. Not this grass, but these bushes. There was bushes here. When I put this down, they disappeared. So I might be able to go to quarter logs you know, off the ground. But then the problem is anytime I have any kind of like feature of the ground that comes up in any way, it's going to block my building. So I'm going to stick with this and I'm hoping like maybe if he, if he comes out every single time I go to sleep, it's probably not the end of the world. We'll see. He did it when he was catching fish as well, which I'm thinking maybe this is a fishing hole here and that caused an issue. I don't know. Um, he's not going to be fishing anymore though, because I did put down some fishing traps. So we'll see how things go. Hopefully this won't be too much of a problem. Um, it wasn't like a huge problem. Like in my first season, it was just, it happened, but it wasn't like a huge deal. It was like, I could work around it. So we'll have to see how things go. All right. So what is next? Um, I'm trying to think about what I want to do for the deck. Maybe I'll leave the deck pretty simple since, you know, it's not going to be like a permanent deck anyway. I think this is a pretty good start here. Let's go ahead and pick this up. And then we're going to do, are we going to do half logs? Maybe, maybe this is what I want to do. I want to put this here and then put this here and do we want half log? Cause we're going to make railings. I think half, half log railings is the way to go. Railing there. I've done quarter log railings and half log railings. And I think I decided that the half log railings are the ones I really like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the only problem is I won't be able to do it over here because I'd have to chop this. And I mean, I, I guess I could. Yeah, why not? I don't see any reason not to, honestly. All right, so this is how you do. If you want these, if you want these railings like this, you got to chop this one, right? And then you just, um, I think you put the railing on, and then put it back. If I remember correctly, I'm still trying to. Oh, really? Really? Oh, these guys. Okay, you're going to get tased, bro. There you go. Now I'm going to choppy chop. If I can get to you. Oh, got you right in the head. Oh, perfect. Put his head at perfect chopping distance. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, you put the railing on, and then you put the half log back. Right? Yep. And that's how you do it. And now you can make railings. I'll do the same thing over here. We'll put that right there. We'll chop this along the half part. There we go. I was hoping to get a little bit more done today, but you know, I'm, I'm learning. The building is not as quick as I was thinking. Uh, there's a lot of logs that have to go into these things, so we'll get it done. We will definitely get it done. It just won't be all today. And then we put this like this. Grab this and grab that. That like that. And I don't know if I like that. Like, nah, I like it just the way it is. All right, put that right there. And we got to deal with these jackasses. Back here. 
come back. Alright, you can keep running. Alright. Keep running then. Keep running, my friend. Alright, let's finish up this uh that goes right there. And then we'll get one more across the way. And the skeleton of the temporary base, which will eventually be the deck of my main house, is going to be complete. Okay. Let's put this over here. Let's see if there's any more problems. We got a problem here? No, I don't think we have a problem. Did he oh, these guys are grabbing my fish. Yeah. Grab my fish, bro. You're going to get tased. What a dick. I got to see how there's... Um... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Yeah, you grabbed my last one. I don't think they grab them, actually. I think they eat them. Damn, I lost all my fish. Not all of them. I put some up there, but... Well, th there you go. The raccoons are definitely taking the fish. That's... That's it. Hey, what's going on, Virginia? Oh, she's scared. Probably because I yell so much. Any fish in here? These fish will go bad in the fish trap. So... Is there a fish in there? I can't tell. I'm, I'm pressing the button. I don't think there is. I think if... I think if there was, I'd be taking it out. All right, we're just going to let that we're going to let that do its thing. And I do think I'm going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to hold on. You ass. He's like, "Oh, I hear you doing your outro. Let me come in and and distract you." What a jerk. What a jerk. All right, anyway, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.